Hi, Bill Lanting, America's allergist. I wanted to go over asthma inhaler technique because you may have the right medicine, but if you don't use it right, what good is it? I mean, you know, again, even if you do it correctly, you know, twice a day and you're very diligent about it, if it doesn't go where it's supposed to and be where it's supposed to for the right amount of time, you're not going to get any benefit or less benefit than you should. So what is proper technique? All right. Well, the uh, older inhalers, which are off the market, they used to blast you, you have to capture them or use a tube. Again, they're, they're not being sold anymore, so we don't have to talk about those. So the next type of inhaler that came along were the discus device. Okay? They're that round disc with the clicker. And so they work well, but um, you have to remember to keep it flat. And the reason is that when you click it, the medicine goes into this open dish. So if you move the inhaler, it all falls out, and then you don't get much or any of the dose. People wonder, why doesn't it work sometimes? Because you never got the medicine. So the secret with the disc is to keep it flat, click it, Inhale deep and just hold it. Now you want to hold it for 12, 15 seconds or longer. Okay, the longer you hold your breath, the longer the medicine has time to interact with the airways and do its thing. So you could keep turning, you know, you don't have to turn blue, but as long as you can hold it, even half of what I'm doing right now, you'll be okay. Okay? That's what you want to do is get it nice, deep, and down there because you want to have the big airways get the medicine and the small airways get the medicine. In fact, a lot of us believe really the small airways are more important because if a big airway is constricted, okay. But if a little airway is constricted, that means a lot. So again, having good technique and uh, being able to do it just right and holding it long, that's the secret. So the next type of inhaler that came out were these twist inhalers. That's Pomacort and uh, Asminex, and you twist it and then you just lick your lips and inhale real deep and hold it. So you, you twist it, and then just hold. Again, you don't have to talk like I do. You can just hold it, hold it. Again, 12, 15, 20 seconds, whatever it takes for you. And then eventually, whew, relax. The newest type of inhaler is an HFA inhaler. It's a puffer, okay, and uh, what you do, is that you can just kind of lick your lips, put it up to your lips, and, and try to let it go with your airflow. And what does that mean? Well, you can imagine blue air floating around here, but when I inhale, it sucks in. You can watch it enter my lungs. So airflow is already going down into the breathing tubes. So that's what you want to do is have air start to go down and then let the medicine ride the wave. Okay, so what you want to do, start to inhale, hit it, really suck deep, and hold for as long as you can. Again, you don't have to do it this long. It'd be great if you could, but remember, I want you to do it for 12, 15, 20 seconds if you can, minimum, all right, with each puff. Because most of you are doing two puffs, either once a day or twice a day, depending on what your doc thought was the right frequency for you, okay? So again, you want to capture it as it's going down, all right? Now, some people think you should use tubes. Uh, I think in little kids they work well, and in the old days with the old inhalers, but the new inhalers, because they, again, they come out turbulent-wise, you can capture them, just put them to your lips, okay? So, doing it the right way. Good technique, holding, holding long enough. That's the secret to good inhalation, getting your meds, and having them be effective. Now, with all these delivery systems with inhaled steroids, there's one other thing you have to remember to do, and that is to wash the stuff off the mouth. Because what happens is the medicine goes here and down in your lungs, but some gets caught on the roof of the mouth and some in the back of the throat. If it sits there and you do this every day like you're supposed to, you may get hoarseness in your throat or irritation in your throat or even thrush, you know, that white cheesy fungus stuff. Right? You try to avoid that. So, if you remember to wash and spit and gargle and spit after each use, after each session, that'll help prevent that, okay? So wash and spit, get off the roof of the mouth, and then for this, gargle and spit. Like that, okay? Separate, wash and spit, gargle and spit. And spit, don't swallow it, or else this stuff will go in the uh, esophagus or the eating tube and cause fungus and problems there. So again, just washing, we call this, you know, good oral toilet, get the stuff off. All right, so remember, good technique, good deep inhalation, suck it deep into the lungs, 
hold it for an appropriate amount of time, and wash and spit and gargle and spit. This is Bill Lanting, America's Allergist. Take care.